Yo, Elliot, it's a privilege and honor to be a part of this great group of like-minded men who build themselves stronger every day. It's a pleasure to have you here, brother. I have a very hard life growing up in a bad neighborhood in a poor communist country, losing friends, loved ones, and family members, breaking 18 bones in my body and having doctors to suture me several times. But I'm not complaining. Instead, I'm grateful for every hardship that I've had in my life because it teaches me to be stronger. Now I have more wisdom than my parents ever had, more virtuous than all my friends and stronger than anybody I know. I am working on two prestigious jobs, making a pretty good amount of money for my poor country, have a clear vision of my future and not allowing anything to move me away from my goal. However, every night for the last few weeks when I go to bed, I have a hard time falling asleep. My mind is calm, my breath is deep, but for no particular reason I have a bad anxiety attack because of which I have insomnia. In your opinion, what could it be? How do I deal with this? And what would you do if you were in my place? So, insomnia. I'm not sure if w what your current life is like is causing the insomnia. I have no clue what's causing insomnia. But I do know that there is there is a, you know, they call it PTSD, right? post-traumatic stress syndrome that those who've had hard lives in the past tend to carry some of the angst associated with it into the present and it can cause problems, right? Is that the case for you or not? I don't know. And I'm not going to try to speculate, right? And, I, and I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole of bioenergetics and trauma release and stuff like that because I've done that before and it may be useful to you. But here, I'm just going to give you some simple practical tips for falling asleep, dude, uh, because there have been times when I've had a hard time falling asleep. I, number one, before I even go any further, I think sometimes these things happen in seasons, right? I think they're just, it, it, life is cycles, right? You may just be going through a season where there's a little bit more insomnia. There's a little, you know, you're having a hard time going to sleep. Depending on how old you are, it could be due to your hormones, right? Like I remember being a teenager, right? And I couldn't sleep when I was a teenager. I was thinking about this the other day because my teenage daughters have a hard time going to sleep. And I'm like, just go to sleep. But I can't take it for granted that when I was younger, I had a hard time going to sleep. And I, this is I'm not advising you to do this, but I'm telling you how, how it was a problem for me and what I did because I was ignorant back in the day. But I remember being in like middle school and I couldn't go to sleep and I would drink cough medicine because <laughs> it was that much of a problem. Like I wanted to go to sleep, but I just couldn't. And I remember taking cough medicine would make me like go to sleep like, Drowsy, it was called Dimatap. And I became like I became like a Dimatap head. I was addicted to drinking Dimatap. I had to drink Dimatap every night before I go to bed because it was the only thing that would help me go to sleep. And I had no other means to, to help me go to sleep. I'd tell my parents, but they couldn't help me. And my dad was just like, close your eyes and go to sleep, boy. Right? And my mom, she worked nights. So definitely she couldn't help me. She was, she was out there working, trying to earn money. So, but today... I'm a little bit wiser. I have a little bit more information and I can even help my daughters. And so the other day was my daughter Simone's birthday and she has the hardest time falling asleep. So you know what I bought her? I bought her a weighted blanket. I would suggest you look into this. Buy a weighted blanket, right? And based on how much you weigh is the weight of the blanket. And there's, there's a grounding quality to having a heavy blanket. The heavy blanket kind of just like it, it. Just to imagine like when you get a massage, what is it? It's somebody putting pressure on your body so you relax. By having the having the blanket, heavy blanket on you, it will help you relax. Number two, I bought her eye mask, right? An eye mask. That's not like iPhone. It's like eye mask. A eye mask. And in fact, I think I even have one of my eye masks here. I'm not going to get up and get it, right? It's just go on, go on Amazon, get an eye mask. You cover your eye like that, boom. Weighted blanket and eye mask. So I tell her, just put the blanket on and, and eye mask. Number three. The room needs to be kind of chilly, right? I didn't know this until I discovered it myself. I used to like just toss and turn in my sleeve, like kicking the blankets off. I'm like, hey, what's going on? But uh, a few years ago, Colleen and I decided like, yo, let's turn the AC. Let's make it really cold in here. And when it's really cold in the room, I sleep that much better. I sleep that much better. Here's another one. No caffeine after 12 o'clock. So once noon comes, 
No more caffeine. If you use caffeine, use it before noon because anytime after noon, it stays in your body. And it could, you know, even though you don't still have the caffeine high that you get like right after drinking coffee or whatever, it can follow you in a very subtle way right into, right into falling asleep at night. Number three, your sleeping mechanics, right? I like to sleep on my stomach and it gives me neck pain and it lets my arm fall asleep and I'm waking up in the middle of the night if I do that. So I bought a therapeutic pillow, right? It's a pillow that has a dip and squares and I lay my head, I can finally sleep on my back or I sleep on my side so that I'm not in pain with my body, right? Some people benefit from not eating five hours before sleep, right? So if you know you usually go to bed at 10, stop eating at five, right? They say, I think four or five hours before going to sleep. As far as keeping the room cool, cool also there's, a, there's something called a chili pad. I was thinking about getting this, I might still get it. A chili pad, which is something that uh, is like air conditioning inside your blanket, right? Air conditioning inside your blanket, you can do that, that'll help you sleep a little bit better. Here's another tip, right? And that's something that I use, but like I would use it, maybe I will. Track your sleep with one of these uh, like health trackers. Right? They got these health tracking rings. I think you call it an aura ring, health tracking ring, or a wristband that will help let you know. It will help you optimize your sleep by letting you know, you know, when you're falling asleep, what kind of REM sleep you're getting, if you're sleeping deep enough, so on and so forth. Here's another one, another tip. Uh, a lot of people can't sleep at night because they're not doing enough during the day. Right. Like the daytime, if you expend your energy, you working out, you getting outside, get sunshine, get sunshine, get fresh air, use your body. Right. By using your body, you then become tired. Most of what we're using our body for is mental work. Mental work will drain you, but it will make you more anxious. I'm talking about exercise. Right? I don't know if you do that or not. You're in this program. So I imagine that you do to some some degree. But stick with your exercise program, get outside, get fresh air, get sunshine. That way, by nighttime come, you're tired. Here's another one. Don't sleep late. There's a, there, I remember reading this from uh, Steve Pavnilla, right? It was like the first personal development blog I ever read. I, some of you guys might be familiar with it. Steve Pavnilla. This was like back in 2003 or something. He said... If you want to get into a consistent sleep schedule and be tired for, for going to bed, he says, wake up early every day. So say you wake up 6 o'clock every day, wake up 6 o'clock every day and don't take any naps. He says, by mere virtue of you waking up the same time every day and not taking naps, you train yourself to fall asleep at night, right? Because your body knows, oh shit, if, if I stay up past midnight, I'm only going to get five hours of sleep, right? And so you don't have to like consciously make yourself sleep. Your body's just going to be so exhausted that you need to sleep. But it happens by getting up consistently at the same time, right? A lot of people, they, they make the resolution, oh, I'm going to go to bed early. I'm going to start going to bed early. And they go to bed and they just lay in their bed with their eyes wide open. What you really need to make a, a goal of or, or an effort towards is waking up early. If you wake up early, it's two sides of the same coin. You wake up early, going to sleep early is just going to become, become natural. You see what I'm saying? So on, so on, and so forth. So I can't diagnose your situation. I don't know what's really going on. I'm not going to pretend like I do, but I will tell you that the tips that I'm giving you right now have been helpful to me and helpful to others. One more, right, because I'm just thinking about it. One more. Uh, melatonin. Use melatonin. Melatonin is a supplement that helps you sleep. Yeah? There are supplements that will help you sleep. So that's it, my man. I really hope those help you, those tips. Try some of them out and let me know. And uh, I would love to know if, if the issue was resolved or maybe it was something else. Who knows, dude? But keep it up. Sounds like you're doing a great, you're doing great work. You're on the right track. You have a good life. You're triumphant, my brother. So keep going. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, 
And then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.